Hey guys, welcome back to Metroid Prime. It's just me and Ben here today, and... Welcome to Boondock Saints, where you kill me children. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah. Right. Well, let's just, let's try to go to endgame. Does that give you a hint where it is? Oh, no, that gives you a hint, right. And there's no... Did I get that out of the way? Um... Yes, 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 yes. So... Every, like, little area in the game Every room has a certain name to it. So, like, say, if I pull up the bit, you see how it's called the Burning Trail? Yeah. Well, when you saw that, you saw, like, how Hall was in a different coloring. Yeah. So what we can do is go to the world map, and it'd be in here... The Hall of Elders, which I think is like back here. Yep. This is where the last one is. Um, okay. Yeah. I always thought that, that was a cool mechanic where they hinted at it because you saw how that other one was called Hall of Whatnot, so it made you go. It was like a little scavenger hunt. Well, and also, like, Hall was highlighted in a different color. Yeah. So it's it's not it's not giving the thing, you the location, but, but it's, it's also giving a hint to it kind of it's it's a it's a play on words kind of thing. Yeah, but you know all those uh, statues that were that I like scanned at the beginning to yeah. get the hints from. Oh, okay. Those so, are what gave me the hints. Oh. Because okay. those were the artifacts of those dead people. Oh, okay. So that does have importance. If you want to learn, if you want to have the hint for later on in your like in your uh, glossary or index, whatever you want to call it, kind of thing, you have to um, you have to scan the statues first. You just don't well, automatically game, have the hint. This game, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, it is very like reading based. Like there is a bunch of it where like if you scan something, and, if you scan a creature and like you read it, no, but like. Oh, this creature has a weakness on its back. You just spent like three minutes trying to shoot it in the face. And you're like, oh, okay, so I need to flank around the back and then kill it. Okay. So this game does not try to fuck you unless you're do you're being dumb. Makes sense. Of course, at this point, like, we're currently at 83% of the game. Which... Does it go by completionist 100% kind of thing, or is uh, that yes, it goes by completionist. Um, okay, so storyline we're like 99% done, but completionist we're 83% done. I believe I'm missing like, like I said before, like one. You're missing just one, one, t one uh, artifact left. What's it? One artifact. I've got a couple boss fights. Uh, I've got map completion to do. And I, I know I'm not going to get 100% on this because I can't remember where the last missile tank is, but I am missing the missile Okay, that way, so I need to go... Just straight. Yeah, just straight. Fuck. Oh. Close. In this game, you really don't fight, like... Boss, like you don't fight like Ridley's kind of thing. You, you usually generally solve like puzzles or like. Yeah, it's a very intuitive game yeah. where it was not giving us much credit as it was, and the newer variations of it like enhance the puzzle aspect. Because there's like there's all in Metroid, there's always been like sort of puzzle mechanic to it, where you know like oh I've got to do the speed boost here and then bomb jump and then. All that, but the uh, 3D, adding like the whole 3D effect of it, they were like, oh, we can't just 
do like a 2D mechanic unless you saw those like certain morph ball areas. Yeah. Because that switches is, is, it switches it to a third person, or it switches to a, th a 2D platformer angle. Yeah. yeah. It's not just a. It's not. You need to go up there. Yes, I did. Damn it. I hate it when you're right. Oh. I only know like two places in this map. Oh, that was one of them. That's good enough. It's good to know that you've been somewhat paying attention. I Okay, I pay a lot more attention than Sam. Sam can literally be watching the screen, and three minutes later is like, Did you do anything? are mimicking literally the icons. Wow. That is kind of cool. We can now progress in the story. I don't know why I switched games. It's okay, I understand. I know it was part of me as well. I'm going around the long way. This room, it, what we play a uh, two, there's a room that. Reminds me. Where the fuck am I going? I don't know. That's why I was. Where's, where's the back? Just back out. Alright, see. Oh, you I'm, literally I, went the wrong direction. I, I went the right direction in the wrong way, alright? I said you went the long way around. No, oh, no, I went the right way, just the wrong way around. Are you going to use an ethics to meet then? Yes. Oh, by the way, I have four times for dinner, depending on how late you're staying. Because you have work tonight or tomorrow night? No? You're I good? have work tomorrow afternoon. Cool. I can literally stay until 6 a.m. I don't think we've been playing Metroid that long, but yeah, if you want to. In fact, I don't think Metroid's going to last us like an hour. I I'm hoping it's going to last us this episode. Yeah, no, it's not going to be this episode. You're not going to get a little rid Ridley? Well, I've got... Last boss fight itself. So okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. I want to say this now. If you can cut the outro for like end of the game, whatever, for all the uh, uh, um, 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 credits, whatever, do not skip it. But I do. I, I honor the people who made the game and whatever in its entirety. Yeah, it's a great game. I wouldn't want to fuck it. Oh no, and it's it's really annoying that you see a, le a lot of let's players kind of like they do a wrap up of the thing. And some, like, sometimes Markiplier, like, depending on what the outro is or the credits is, like, sometimes it's a movie, sometimes it's just, like, just a black screen to scroll the text. Sometimes he'll just, you know, take it away and, and hand it to him kind of thing. I mean, it's, like, kind of, I think that that's, like, that's not rude, but it's kind of like saying, this is about me, not about your game kind of thing. Yeah, well, unfortunately there are people like that. Yeah, no, that's, that's, and that's why well, I... at least... As much as I give Jay a shit for, at least they watch this, the credits. Yeah, but yeah, they do. And depending on the game, they'll like either praise the people or Boy, those give are them shit. Games. Yeah. Like in Sonic Boom, quality control. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Who had that job? Not this dude! <laughs> they actually got messaged by the people that made the game saying, Yeah, we said this was not good. Wow. I know there's... I know... Oh, I thought it was so funny. Because, you you know, they did all those tweets, like, saying, Fuck you to, you know, to Sonic Team, whatever, like, whoever released Sonic Boom, whatever, like... They did a whole bunch of, like, mock... Not, not, not straight up, fuck you, Kylie, but they mocked him a lot kind of thing. You know, then, yeah, then so Sonic Team sent them, like, gift baskets and whatnot. Because, <laughs> you know, Game Grumps played them, so they suddenly got a lot of attention. So they're like, here, talk about us more. Have Sonic plush dolls. <laughs> well, the thing is, Game Grumps is like, no, 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 stop it. Aaron, we don't want more. Aaron loves Sonic. Well, he does, but it's like, I think that's why also Sonic Boom killed him. Like, inside. <laughs> They killed me inside. I didn't even play the game. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is do this, please help me. <laughs> um, is there any horror games you know of and want to play? Um, I have a big selection, so I might already have it. But if you can think of any particular title that you particularly want to play, I mean, not really. I mean. As you know, I, as much as I don't get scared of things, I have that natural jump reaction to, like, jump scares. Okay. Why not? So, it's more of, like, for Halloween stuff. Yeah, I understand. We're, 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 we're going to be switching gears here in a couple if of weeks. If we want to do horror stuff for me, Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I might just do like three recordings of it and just take out the video and just see what you, just the mic noises <laughs> and just the see screaming, <laughs> just the whole time screaming in agony. Did you save the ship right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saved the ship. But I'm actually missing a lot of missiles. What the? It's 250 though, isn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to be 250. Oh, but it increases uh, by, it increases it by, by five, five volume. So. You're missing, missing like, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Missing four, four or five upgrades. All right. Which I guess for completionists like you, that's a big deal. But to me, like, I feel like it went you overboard. Don't care. Which is why I'm not going off to the But look, I have a little glow. Which is scanning now. What is? What's with the glow? Why do you have a glow? That's supposed to show that I have that Metroid has a force field around her, and that the rain is blocking all the force field. Why not? It's like. Did you always have it? Yeah. Or is it... Okay. In the first cutscene, when she jumps out of the ship, you can see, like, the shimmer. Okay. I guess I, like... Yeah, you can see it, like, even now. Well, yeah, you can see, you can see if z super zoomed down. Like, that's really weird. It's like, if it's such a fine line, why is it getting thicker and thicker the camera's zooming out? Well, because the, uh, the rain is bouncing off. Yeah. But I'm saying, like... I actually thought that was a pretty cool, like... Because a lot of people think like, oh, it's got a force field, it is on it. But no, it's got, it's got to have like some padding to it. Or, yeah, it why, just, why really just break the statue? What does, what does that mean? What does that do? Uh, the Chozo basically made the artifacts in order to combat the threat. 
in the deep impact. So, instead of being I guess if you're running low on ammo, it'd be a really good thing for him to use drive-by kind of things, but like, if he's already cleared out the whole plot, there's no point of it anymore.
question? No. Ridley has a really known thing of coming up to life in the worst possible situations. All the artifacts are restored somehow. Yay! Because I had the artifacts in you. <laughs> yeah. Ridley in the center of the earth. Yes. Knew it. I hope he did. Alright, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, guys, if you're in the episode, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll hopefully see the last Ridley fight here coming up shortly. Hey guys, thanks for watching the episode of Metroid Prime. Make sure to hit the next button if you want to see the next episode. Make sure to hit the previous button if you want to see that episode. Make sure to check out my other series like Kingdom Hearts 2, Uncharted 2, and Shovel Knights. Alright, guys, bye bye. No! No, Jesus! <laughs> Wait, no, I don't understand it then. If you're supposed to pull go down, how are you supposed to reach that gap then? To that ridge? I don't know. Because technically, you did it the best way possible. <laughs> oh! So it should be that way, past the water tower there. Nate, she pulled a gun on us. I know. She was about to pull the trigger too, but they just beat her to it. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Flynn knew she was with me. If Lazarevich finds out she double-crossed him, you know what he'll do to her. Yeah, I've seen his handiwork. Then you know I don't really have much of a choice. Honor among thieves, huh? <gasps> Something like that. Come on. This is the timing of it. Really, I touched it with my shoulder. Really touching it. Yeah, like you said, you gotta, you gotta, your whole body has to like touch it.